Through this legislation, the Department of Environmental Protection will be positioned to request a National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, or NIPDES, program designation from the United States EPA to issue permits for major wastewater facilities and for management of stormwater in our state. Providing Mass DEP with the ability to make science-based permitting decisions using up-to-date water quality data is a great opportunity for everyone in the Commonwealth. If passed, our water quality programs will include practical and big picture approaches to decision making and investments in infrastructure and treatment will be directed to the areas that will result in the greatest environmental improvement. The legislation will allow the Mass DEP to join 46 other states in administering the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System program at the state level. Adding the NIPDES program to Mass DEP's portfolio will promote holistic and integrated water management, enabling the administration to work effectively with communities that have requirements in wastewater, stormwater, and other water resource programs. And by passing this legislation, Massachusetts will use sound science, current information, and our close working relationship with cities and towns to protect their water quality. We do a great job here in the Commonwealth of already implementing a number of federal programs, whether it's hazardous waste, uh, drinking water, clean air programs, and we have a great track record of partnering with the uh, EPA uh, to implement uh, and, and assume that authority, uh, similar to what we're here trying to seek today, in other programs. And we want to build on that success. And we are just simply looking to join the other 46 states who have assumed uh, this authority from the Environmental Protection Agency and, uh, and move forward to continue to maintain Massachusetts leadership in the protection of our natural resources. And uh, DEP is well suited to uh, assume this, uh, this, this new responsibility going forward. Governor Baker has included uh, $1.4 million into uh, the recently filed H-1 budget. That is going to basically be the seed money to get this program up and running and continue to, uh, to, to fund this going forward to make sure that we uh, continue to protect our natural resources.